From the site that many call the loudest in the NFL, we are inside Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Arrowhead. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. the play fake Prescott and oh right away he lost the football oh and one of the linemen on the other side has got it and he has brought this one back a fumble recovery for a Chiefs touchdown so the big fella gets on the scoreboard with a return for a touchdown good thing he didn't have to go too far though you know the trainers were very happy about that imagine having to go get him in the end zone escort him to the bench and give him the oxygen they were loving the fact that he got in without having to run very far So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Kevontae Turpin now from his end zone, powering his way forward. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And let's just say they're going to be looking to start over on this drive. A few moments ago, they were in the exact situation, but their first play led to a fumble that was returned for six. Yeah, you definitely have to have a short memory to play in the NFL. you got to remember what you did wrong so you don't repeat it. But you can't dwell on it because then you will repeat it, and that's what you don't want to do. The first carry now for Tony Pollard. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They need to make up some ground, and they did. And he's going to come up a few yards short of the first. They get him to the ground at the 37. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. That looked great when he first took off because, in my mind, there was room to run, and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And the Chiefs will have the football back in excellent field position. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Buying time to his left. Open man here. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And all the way in for a Kansas City
From the site that many call the loudest in the NFL, we are inside GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Detroit Lions taking on the defending Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And into a sea of red, we're underway in Kansas City. To Montgomery to begin the drive. And that's not the start that he was looking for. As he's going to be met and dropped behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Four yards on the pickup there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. But you got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. Throwing on third. Gone. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. And look here, it's an opening drive fake. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. And this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon. First and ten, here's Pacheco. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Decided to hand it off that time on the run-pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. So second and four from the 22. Again, it's Pacheco. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Mahomes going to throw. Throw left side, complete to Tony. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Wide, wide, wide. Get wide. 36, 36. A run by Pacheco on second down. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco taking it in from seven yards away. And the Chiefs will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Goff on first down. That's going to be caught by Josh Reynolds. 
And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here, second and a yard from the 34. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. Seven yards there and a first down. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. They'll run for the first time with the speedster, Jameer Gibbs. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. First down for the Lions on a nice pickup of 18 yards. Going up the gut, Montgomery escapes the defender. There he goes, left side. He's still on his feet. Touchdown, Detroit. David Montgomery, 40 yards. And the Lions are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Michael Badgley on for the extra point. And oh, it's blocked. Picked up by the offense. This is a live ball. So they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity miss. It definitely was because that's all defense is talking about. Getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. You're exactly right. A lost opportunity. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. And it's straight. It's Pacheco. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. After one, a one-point game, seven to six. Second quarter for Merrillhead. It's the Chiefs in possession. As they've got it with a first and ten. Throwing now is Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. From the 48-yard line, here's the second and four. They run it with Pacheco from the gun. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. Give him 13 yards there at a Kansas City first down. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Four minutes to play here in quarter number two. <laughs> Mahomes to throw on second down. Finds his man, Watson, over the middle. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 24-yard line. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. And it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Pacheco gets it up the gut. And he'll get about five here as he'll take this down inside the 20-yard line. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. 
and they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. Let's go. Now Mahomes may be a free play. And Watson has it right side. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. Let's go. So offsides the call, and they understandably decline it. And this is why we're seeing more and more teams hiring that one coach to the staff that's in charge of all these things. This one's minor. It's pr pretty easy to figure out. But all the game management stuff, trying to help out the head coach in his decision-making. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on the touchdown pass. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Now Mahomes to the line as the Chiefs are going to go for the two-point try. Now Mahomes going to shift him around. They'll try and throw for it. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. It's the linebacker, Alex Anzalone. Well, as most teams do in their two-point attempt, they pass the ball. Instead, it gets intercepted. And remember, if you pick it off, you got a chance to take it all the way back to two points yourself, right? Yeah, not the case there, but that's why you got to be really careful with those throws, especially to the outside. Now, after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. On second down, here's Gibbs. And he will get enough for a first down, and that will lead us to the two-minute warning. Here's Gaw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And it's intercepted. Mike Edwards picks it off, and the return stops at the 39-yard line. Oh, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it, and the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy, and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. 59 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Seemed like a couple sets of eyes were on the quarterback, so he decided, hey, I'm going to hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage, but every one of these RPOs, if you do it right and they look the same, whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback keeps it, that allows you to fool the defense so often. And in this case, fool them with the inside run. From the 17, here's second and four. A handoff now for Pacheco, and he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. 
and that'll be incomplete. Really good coverage all over the field, and it took away his intended read and almost dared him to try for his guy out of the backfield. No surprise on that one. It doesn't connect. Now a second and ten. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And he comes back with one complete. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Need five on this play to move the sticks. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. 34 is the mic, 34 is the mic. He's coming, check him, check him. 43, 43. Hey, check 24, watch 24. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. On third down, it's Pacheco. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco in the final seconds of the first half. And the Chiefs would extend their lead here just before halftime. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead now up to 14. So just eight ticks remaining here in the first half as they'll kick this one away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. He'll let this go deep for St. Brown. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. The final shot before break here. Golf. That one let go deep for Laporta. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. A very interesting call and one that backfires. I know they're losing, Charles, but boy, to start the second half with the onside kick, risky. Felt like a sense of urgency from their side, coupled with, you and I both know the special teams coordinators. They sell their key plays each and every week to the head coach, don't they? And I guarantee he's been selling this one. We can get it, coach. We can get it. And that came together with that sense of urgency you talked about. 84 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Check Mike, check Mike. Hey, check Mike 46. Check Mike 46. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. On first down, they go back to Pacheco. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure you're back. You spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Now second and five. They're running it. 46, boys. Now Mahomes. Forced out to his left. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. The plan was clearly to challenge that by sending a blitz on second down, but even the extra guys couldn't catch him in the backfield, though. He doesn't scramble for a first, but he does get the last lap by evading the blitz and getting beyond the line of scrimmage. A yard all they need, but it's third down. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. 
And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive alive. And they gave themselves options there on the third down play and were able to convert on that RPO. Shows a lot of trust with the guy taking the snap, doesn't it? Because you're counting on him to make the right reads and give the ball where it's supposed to go. And he did on that play. Mahomes throw caught by Tony. Touchdown! Kadarius Tony, an 18-yard Touchdown, Graham. And the Chiefs have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Butker now to add the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone. And he returns this to the 22. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. On first and ten, gone. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. Boy, Charles, that it. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to South Florida at Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. Today we've got a fun AFC matchup on tap as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Miami Dolphins. Here's Jason Sanders now to get this one started and we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here we, here we go, D. Here, here I come again. Here I come again. Here I come again. Mahomes not wasting time. He'll throw. Being chased out left. That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 16 yards on the game's first play and a quick first down. 
Well, normally you see three tight ends in a formation. You have to think to yourself, this has got to be a run. And I know as a safety, when I saw that, I took an extra step or two towards the line of scrimmage. Instead, they threw the ball, and he found one of those tight ends for a very nice pickup. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Second and five. On play action, it's Mahomes. He'll buy some time right. That ball caught. It's Rice. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Defensively, they just lost him. He was waving his arms saying, I'm wide open. They found him. Yeah, and it's so interesting about when a receiver starts to wave his arms because some guys right off the line of scrimmage, they declare themselves open. You know those guys throw the one arm up, hit me right now. In this case, he was so wide open that he was frantically trying to get his attention to make sure he got the football. And then I'm sure his only thought when the ball was in the air, don't drop it. Had too much time to think. From the 21, here's the second and eight. 51 to Mike, boy, 51. Three three From the gun, it's Mahomes. A dump down to McKinnon. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. Mahomes looking to throw on third and two. And that is caught. Touchdown, Kansas City. Isaiah Pacheco, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. And the QB rating right now is sky high. Four for four on that opening drive, and it ends with a touchdown pass. Yeah, I don't know quite how to figure it out. I think I need my friends from MIT to come in and help me. <laughs> I think 158.3 is the number one. Yep, that's the, right? high that's the highest you can get. That's where he is. He'd like to continue on that pace. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback. Barrios deciding not to bring it out. To and the Dolphins now with a first and ten at their 25-yard line. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And this intercepted on the first play of the game. Mike Edwards picks it off. And the Chiefs are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. And partner on that interception, I mean, it looked pretty clear what they were trying to do. Just send four guys down the field and try to make a big play out of it. Brandon, they might as well put all four of them in sprinter's blocks and fired the starter's pistol and just said go and took a shot. Didn't pan out for them, but they were trying to make a big play right out of the gate. Well, instead, now on the other side, if they score, you're quickly in the hole two scores. All right, I got to ask you, with these RPOs, essentially the quarterback has three options, right? So what's different from that versus the triple option that we see the service academies run at the college level? As a general rule, the triple option at the college level, most things are called outside of the quarterback faking it to the runner and then keeping it himself and maybe having a trail back. What I mean is, in the NFL, that option to throw the football all comes about organically. It's a natural deal based on reads. In college, if you're going to throw the football off a triple option, you've actually called that play. Here's second and ten. Now here's Mahomes. He finds McKinnon complete. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Jarek McKinnon. 
35 yards. And the Chiefs are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. They've got to be thrilled on the road right now. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, and quickly trying to make it 14 to nothing. Yeah, and mentioned it already. On the road, to be able to go into someone else's house and establish a start like that, obviously your confidence rises in a big way, and you're putting some doubt in their minds. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And this will be a touchback. Barrios deciding not to bring it out. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. From the site that many call the loudest in the NFL, we are inside Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the New York Giants taking on the Kansas City Chiefs.
The kicker, Graham Gano, set to put his foot into this one. And we are underway from Kansas City. McCall Hardman to return it from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. On second down, here's Mahomes. Steps away to his left. That's laid out deep for Rice. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. A big play there for KC. 44 yards. Well, things are looking pretty darn good on this first drive, aren't they? Came right out, set the tone, this time with a big pass play. And if the peek behind the curtain that they gave us in their game plan, I don't think that's going to be the last one we see. I think you're exactly right about that. They go play fake. Mahomes. They'll roll him out right. And that one caught by Rice. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Somebody missed an assignment. He was waving his arms saying, uh, hey, I'm wide open. They found him. You think? You think? I mean, he was so wide open. Did you see he was just windmilling like he was Don Quixote or somebody out there? And then they found him for a really nice game. And a great job there to read that one defensively. They strung him out, would not allow him to cut up field. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Now it's Mahomes again. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Touchdown! Rasheed Rice. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And his kick is good to make it 7-0 KC. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be out of bounds here, a yard shy of the 25 and the 24. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 24. And they'll start the drive here with an end around. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Now you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. And Saquon going to have a Giants first down as the tackle made up near the 35. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Throwing Jones. Rush coming, and he's taken down. 
Chris Jones, the defensive tackle, getting in there for a loss of five. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. Oh, a big decision here early. Look at this. They're going to go for it on their own side of the field. They're going to try and throw. That is caught. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Fourth down conversion plays. You usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. A first down carry for Barkley. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. This second and four. We got four. We got four. They'll go to Barkley again. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. So a solid run by Saquon Barkley and another first and ten here. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. He'll find his tight end. That's Waller. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another good completion on the drive as the Giants have a first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. It's Barkley on the counter. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. And hey, when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Now Jones. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. Back to throw. Jones. Oh, hit as he throws there. Incomplete. Well, it's been a tough go for him. This guy's been driving down the field. But defensively, once they got their backs to the goal line, turned up the pressure, that's going to lead to a fourth down. Well played. York able to send this one through, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives. Now they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. New York jungle. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. Oh, and that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. 44 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go-around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Looking to throw. Jones. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. One of the great coaches said football is really a simple game. Rush theirs, protect yours. And he's talking about those guys throwing the football. In this situation, the rush won, hitting the quarterback and forcing him into an incompletion. On second down, here's Barkley. He'll get about six there as he takes this one down to the 24-yard line. 
And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Back to throw. Jones. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Ten yards, good for a giant first down. Barkley inside handoff. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. So five yards here, five on the play. And it's third and four now. And he's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. On third down, Barkley. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley. An eight-yard touchdown run, and the Giants have taken the lead. Extra point by York is up and good, and the lead is now 10-7. to seven. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. For the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do, so I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant. Keep throwing it around. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. A big pickup of 38. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. A good down to possibly take a shot, and in fact, they'll come up with an empty backfield on second and inches. Open man, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. 23 yards on the play. Just picking up yardage and bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Undercrush, undercrush, undercrush. Begin, begin, begin. Pacheco is in. Touchdown, Chiefs. Well, someone has a sense of the dramatic here, don't they? Scoring this late in the half to take the lead going into the locker room. Now they just don't want to misstep misfortune on the next kickoff because there's still a little bit of time left on that clock. Yeah, you do have to bring that up, don't you? In the NFL, every play is critical. If you give up something cheap there, all that advantage they just gained goes right out the window. Yeah. 
So six seconds, all that remains of this first half as the kick is away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And they'll have time for one play. There's two seconds on the clock. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Giants set to get the football, and they trail here as we get back underway in the second half. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at the 20. He'll drop it off with Saquon Barkley. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 86 yards rushing now for Barkley. It's a first down. That one definitely helps as they try to push the ball down the field here, trailing early in the third quarter. And even though they're trailing, not abandoning the running game. People may call it an adjustment. I think it's just much more sticking to what works for you and continuing to have faith in it. And the running game is starting to pay off. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. From the 35 on second down, Jones leaping and he makes the grab. 22 yards there, a first down. Uh, it's a great route here and good recognition. Their tight end's going to give a little hesitation in the middle of that route. Hopefully slow his cover man for just a split second. And he's going to continue down the field, and he makes a nice catch there. They run with Barkley on first down, and he gets about five out of it. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gain five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. Jones now to throw on third down. And this is going to be incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Now on fourth down, we've got a whistle here and a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. Check, check. Go Cyclone. Go Cyclone. Go Cyclone. Looking to throw. Jones. Open target here. Darius Slayton. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Back to throw. Jones. And the screen unsuccessfully dropped him. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And they move this all the way down to the nine. 
An excellent pickup of 20 yards. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Here's second and goal operating from the eight-yard line. Another try for Barkley. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. But a spotlight hit him once already tonight as he got into the end zone. He was trying to make it a double spotlight, wasn't he? But credit the defense, bottling him up, not letting him get in for the second score there. Now Jones, going to throw on third and goal. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage, after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. York able to send this one through. And the lead is down to one now at 14-13. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission. And at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us. now on first down. Open man is the tight end, Noah Gray. And he's going to get this inside the 30. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Check 52, slam, slam, slam. On first and 10, here's Pacheco. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook? It's still open for the coordinator. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Oh, and that is incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. They'll run here with Pacheco. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. Five yards, a good run there, and now second and goal. That's a great run right there on first down. Didn't quite get into the end zone, but now you've set yourself up for at least two, maybe three more shots from close range. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Well, that's going to bring up a big call now because he's unable to make the play himself on second down. Now you just have to wonder, will they keep the ball in his hands on third down? I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Now this time, Mahomes will throw. Dance into his left. And that is caught. Touchdown, Kansas City. Travis Kelsey, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs will add to their fourth-quarter lead. 
no surprise there. Third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And now, after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Here's Jones off the bootleg. We've got a one-score game with inside of two minutes remaining. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. They face a critical third down now, needing a score here in the late going. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Jones. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. A little bit of a backbreaker right there. You're down close, one score game, trying to push the ball down the field and score, and you throw a pick six. And sometimes you take a little bit of a gamble when you're making your throws, right? Sometimes you press it a little bit more than maybe you wanted to because you want that score so badly. In this case, it cost them. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. Out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Here's first and ten. Gold River. Gold River. Now Jones. Buying time to his left. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Here's second down. Here's Jones. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. And now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. The Arrowhead crowd in full roar. Here's third down. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. Boy, hard to catch your breath. Another big play looming, fourth and three. They'll run with Barkley. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. A two timeouts still remaining, but scoring quickly, a must. It's first and ten. And that one going to come up short, low throw. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Jones. Shakes off the sack. But in the end, the pressure too great, and he goes down. This crowd turning up the decibel level. It's third and long. And that will be incomplete. And this is getting close to a no-win situation now. They've got one final shot. They're on their end of the field, and it's fourth and long. This might require a little extra razzle-dazzle to get it done. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. Desperation time now. Here's Jones. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. They had to go for it with 
with such little time remaining, and the Chiefs will have the football back in excellent field position. Mahomes going to throw it here. Flush to his right. And it's knocked away and incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Meanwhile, Mahomes throw into the hands here of Hardman. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Oh, wait, hold everything. A timeout has been called. Seemingly silly with one second remaining in this game. Yellow, yellow. I got one, I got one. 58 to Mike, 58. 58 to Mike. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Well, CD, for the losing side, they had opportunities in this one, but big plays just didn't go their way, especially late. And they have to suffer the L here. It certainly felt like that takeaway once it happened. It knocked the wind out of their sails, and they just couldn't get their equilibrium back. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Chiefs victorious here as we say so long from Kansas City.